Hello, Simeon here. I want to talk today a little about user personalization and different profiles. So I got here a Cronus environment, and we're going to look right here in the gear. If you go here to the gear to the settings, you can see under my settings, a lot of people have probably noticed that you can go in and change your role. So what is your role? Your role is basically a group of pages, especially the role center pages, and you see different Q tiles here in the background, different options. Um, it's the way pages look. It's, it's everything that the user sees and the user experience. So right now we're looking at the sales order processor role. You'll notice if I click on this, there's a handful of roles I can choose from. And people have probably navigated around, looked and seen these. But what some people may not realize, if you go up here and we look in profiles, There are many profiles that are not shown in my settings. So if you notice here, there's this show in role explorer. This is what allows it to be seen in the my settings. Um, so for our example today, we're going to go in and we're going to turn one on. Um, you could actually turn all these on and review all the different roles and see what they look like. So I'm going to go in here and let's look for our inventory manager one. I'm just going to search for it here. Inventory manager, so that's not shown in the role explorer, but I'm interested. I want to see what it looks like. So let's open it up and I'm going to just change this toggle here to show in role explorer. That's all it is. Go back and I'm going to go back up here. Go to my settings. And now I can see it right, uh, where did it go? Inventory manager, there it is right there. So that wasn't there before. So let's take a look at the role and see what it looks like. So as you can see, there's other things here that uh, an inventory manager might wanna see. And I'm gonna go in now and what I'm going to do is I'm going to customize this role because there's also plenty of things in here that they might not need to see. They might not be using the pick worksheet, put away worksheet, things like that. So I'm going to show you another cool feature here. If I go back to roles, profiles, roles, same thing. I'm going to go back down. I'm going to find my inventory manager one here. I'm going to open it up. And I'm going to press this button up here, Customize Pages. What Customize Pages does is it allows you to do all the same things that you can do in personalization, but anything you do gets applied to every single person that has this role. So I'm going to go in here and change some things. I'm going to take out the headline because this is a little too much real estate. I'm going to take out uh, this put away worksheet. I'm going to take out the pick worksheet. So all things that a user user could do individually, um, but we want to do this as a group because we're going to have 10 people set up as the inventory manager. So we don't want to walk around and have to do this on every single user's machine. Just going to press done here. But as you can see, it took the headline away. I'm going to refresh real quick to remove this window. Press done. Oh, I'm going to close the window. Let's go back home. And so you can see the headlines gone and those options I took away are gone. So I, I want everyone to think about this because you can do this on a very grand uh, level. You can go in and take these profiles and move things around. And it isn't just this home page. It's anything you go into. If I go into, uh, let's say, posted receipt today, if I go into the, here and I look at this, I can take fields off of this. I can move fields around in the lines. I can do all this. And again, if I'm doing it through the roles page, it'll remove all those for every single person that's in this role. Now let's talk about the profiles once more. So 
So there's two other options down here that are interesting. There's this use as default profile. If I select that, that will make this the default profile for every single person that doesn't have a profile assigned to them per today. So if you're a smaller company, you only have maybe five people, maybe it's easiest to pick a role, customize it the way you want, select use as default profile and be done. You can also use this disable personalization. This is useful because it, it restricts users from being able to personalize their own screens. So say you've gone in and you've customized the role center and you've got it set up exactly the way you want them to have it and you don't want anybody to change anything. You just flip this disable personalization and that's it. No one will be able to go in and use this option anymore. Personalize, that'll be gone. Um, I'm gonna go in here now and I'm gonna show you where you set these up per user. So if I go to user settings, So this is where I can go in and I can go down to my profile here and I can set this role right here. And I can pick whichever one I want. So I can pick inventory manager and now I'm inventory manager. I don't have to go up here and change it. It's locked in. This is what I'll be set as forever. You can also do that if you're using user groups. You can go into user groups and you can define a default profile here. Then every member of a, a certain user group will get that default profile. They'll also get default permissions assigned to them if you set up permissions for a user group. That's gonna be one of our next sessions. Um, so that's all for today. Please reach out if you got any questions and we'll see what we can do. Thank you, bye.